What's up, folks? Today we are here with Tariq. Hi. And we are talking all about... Cone. Again. Well, the best thing about cone is the grease. You want some corn right now? Yeah. Here you go, my friend. Take a look at this. Mmm, corn. What's like top three ways you can eat corn? Battle. But like butter really like spreads out like the the good taste with butter and the grease and toasted and toasted with the grease. What is the grease? Actually kinda the string that makes the corn good. So something that people have really appreciated about what you had to say about corn is that you loved it so much and it made you so happy. Why is it important to love things wholeheartedly? So when you love something that means you really appreciate it after all that hard work. Should we make up the corn dance? Oh yeah. All right, let's do it. To do the corn dance, you do something like this. And then something like this. You gotta eat it while you do it. Corn break. Did you say? Corn break. Why is it important to take a corn break? Yeah, because you can restore your energy. What are the lumps with the knobs? The knobs, the part of corn that holding up they vertically so you can hold them in any say. Wait, which part's the lump? I thought the lump was the whole thing. Look here. Yeah, the knobs are the corners that keep that keep the corners up. I love the lump with the knob. It got the juice. What does corn taste like? It tastes juicy. It's yummy. This is good. What do you want to say to adults and tell them how they can find joy? Well, sometimes adults can find joy from like just trying to pretend when they were when they were also just a kid. Do the corn dance. Bibbly boobly dibbly bop. Bobbly boobly bobbly beep. Corn break. Corn break. Well, if someone likes corn, if they take a corn break, they can take a break without eating corn. Take a corn break. What's it mean to be a corn friend? Like if two people like corn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you find someone that likes corn, that's like you. Yeah. What is a corntastic day? Well, I made it up and it's like a pun about corn. <laughs> but what does it mean to have a corntastic day? It mostly means to like have a fantastic day. But like with corn in it? Yeah. Have a corntastic day. Mmm, corn. It would be booty booty bop. Turn this woman into a bop. Turn break. If you could talk to corn, what do you think corn would say? It would beg me to eat it. Drake, it's me, a corn, a British corn. Well, hello, it's me, Mr. Corn. Oh, hello, Mr. Corn, it's me, Sir Corn. Why do you think all these humans are talking about us corn so much? Because they must be wanting to eat us. We have to run and find some more safe before we all get eaten. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Hi, dear. I'm so, I'm terrified. Ooh, look, yummy corn. Mm -hmm. No! Are we corn friends? Yeah. And that's the corn dance. Corn break, corn break. I'm pretty much done with my corn. For me, I look, it looks like I have a long way to go. What do you think about Komodo dragons? Komodo dragons? Well, there's two interesting facts about Komodo dragons. Uh -huh. Like, one bite can kill you in minutes. And also, they can use their tongue to track their prey down. That's, and that's how they find the creature. What was it like having so many people like what you have to say? It's just amazing to have have everyone like to, to support everyone? Yeah. It was like, yeah, when it's like negative in the world. Have a corntastic day. I appreciate you coming on the show. You too. Bye, my friend. Bye. Do you have any questions for me? Mr. Julian, where did you originally live before you like moved to New York? I was born in New York and then I lived in Philadelphia for a while and then Boston and then I moved back to New York. Okay. All right, my friend. Anything else you want to say about corn before we go? Yeah. Think, what? The best way to prepare corn, you can boil it and make, give it and, and spread butter on it. 